Hey Bass Geek here, and today we're going to do an unboxing from some cool companies and some cooler geeks. Hey geeks, what's going on? We have got some really cool stuff sent in by some small companies. You know, this is kind of what I'm gonna start doing with some of the small companies, the mom and pop bait makers. We're gonna have this small company spotlight. I really like, and, and you guys know this, I love to support the smaller companies, the mom and pop shops that are out there grinding every day just because they love the sport of bass fishing. But before we even get to that, I've got to give a couple of my subscribers a huge shout out. And the very first one is going to be Gee Fan. Man, I appreciate you. You know, you've been around the channel for a long time. I appreciate all your support. I appreciate all your help. And I want you to check out some of the cool stuff that he sent me. He sent me Foster, you know, the super trooper that was always fishing. Uh, so this is definitely going on my shelf he sent this to me way back during the summer but i have been this backed up that i'm just now getting to this so thank you g man i appreciate it i can't tell you how much i appreciate it he sent me some baits too and guys if you guys want to send some stuff it's great you don't have to i don't ask you to but there is a po box down there like i always say hashtag 100 watch squad it's the best way to support the channel so he sent me some owner haymakers good looking hook he sent me and this is something pretty funny you know i was talking about the namiki version of this but this is mega bass dyna response it's blade bait season guys they're so versatile and so subtle killers in winter this is something i can't wait to throw in the spring this is a three eighths man he sent me a jackhammer oh, listen guys I'm a big jackhammer fan. I know you can throw the others, but I'm telling you, it's what I get bit on all the time. Then on top of that, something that I'm a huge fan on, in a day like today, this is a great color because it's got, it's gold. So you're gonna get a little different reflection on that top water bite than you would the gray sky with a chrome color. And that is the good old long A. And trust me, on this lake right here, South Holston, this is a must have on days like today. Thanks G, I appreciate it, man. This is uh, this is great. I really appreciate you doing that. Uh, Professor Hank B Geek, he, he calls me. So I appreciate the handwritten letter. Uh, you know, that's just, that's really cool. Tight lines, brother. Check this out, my buddy Ben down in South Carolina sends me some original, original Pop R's. Man, thank you. I can't say thanks enough. And it looks like he's caught some on this one. Good old chrome, blue back chrome. I mean, that's a staple color. Now this is one of the uh, splash. So he's had a couple of splashes and this is one of the early ones too. Check that bad boy out. That is a great looking color. I love that feathered treble on there. A very good bluegill profile. And then he sent me something. I don't know the name of it. I don't remember what he called this, but it's a little bit crazy. If you guys know the color or the, uh, the name of this bait. So uh, he told me that it does really well during the spawn. So we might give that a try. And especially on this lake with the smallmouth, I'd say they'll hate that thing run through. So Ben, I appreciate you, sir. Thank you for sending that. Man, that pop R is really just cool. Uh, you know, having one of the originals, that's just, that's neat. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. So another fan of the channel has sent me some just great looking, look at this, man. These are some huge swim jigs but I, I could use them for anything. I don't know what size it is, but thank you, Jason, for sending these in. That's kind of a PB&J. That's a real good looking shad. I love the way these heads look like they're just gonna stand up. Another shad color and a good old kind of green pumpkin. Maybe a little bit of blue flake in there. Again, one of my favorite colors. Great looking baits there. Thank you very much again. I won't show everybody where you're from. Thank you again, Jason. 
out of Dayton, Ohio. Those are pretty killer. All right, I'm gonna give my buddy Taylor Watkins a big shout out. The three-time National Professional Fishing League champ. Uh, he sent me this stuff back when we did hit the first interview earlier in the year, and uh, I have not got I have not got to put it in a video yet. But this is from his newly acquired company, Omega Tackle. So he sent me another rod cover, which I very much appreciate. Can't have enough of those protecting those rods. He sent me the Rapture, which is their version of a bladed jig. I can't wait to try that out. Check it out, man. Great looking spinner bait. Can't go wrong with that color right there. White, I love the long skirt right there in case you want to cover up a uh, trailer hook. Great looking blades. Look how big those blades are too. That's great looking spinner bait. He sent me, this is actually um, just three of the buzz baits. I have another one already on the boat somewhere here tied on. These buzz baits are pretty awesome, guys. Now, these are the uh, straightforward, the straight blades here, single blades. This is the Alpha Solo. That is a 7 16th. Great color, great blade. This is the Alpha Solo, and that's undressed. Great for a toad. And this is the alpha buzz and check that out i don't know if you can see it but it's actually double bladed right there and it has a very unique sound it's pretty incredible love that buzz bait now let's get into the jigs and guys i can't tell you how many people i've heard say that omega makes some of the best jigs on the market so this is something i can't wait for this is the omega flip i do like that it's got the nice pointed head. That is, uh, I believe, a Missouri Crawl, M-O Crawl, right there, half ounce, my go-to. This is the Signature Swim in Crappy, 3 8 ounce, great looking swim jig. This is the Signature Series Swim Jig, 3 8 ounce, bluegill. Cannot go wrong with a bluegill. This is the 3 quarters ounce Omega Football Finesse EBNJ. Great color right here. Green pumpkin, blue flash, Omega football, three quarter ounce right there. That's my color right there. Then we come up on the Omega Salvation, green and orange. This is a really neat head. I love the way it sits in the water. The Salvation jig, guys. You need to check it out. And that is the one in Missouri Crawl. Now, he also sent me some Neds, and what I love about these is they're kind of football heads, so that's really cool. It's called the Slayer. That's one eighth ounce, one of my favorite sizes, and uh, it's got a weed guard on it. I dig that. He sent me some swim bait heads, half ounce, and my favorite size, half ounce. What do you know? Gizzard Chad. Some of them Omega Shaky. These are for the big shaky head worms that I like to use out on the ledges, three quarter ounce. Big football shaky head worm. I can't wait to try those out. All right, again, Taylor, man, I appreciate you. Sorry it's taken so long for me to get this video out. I never intended for us to wait this long. But as you can tell, we are so far behind. It's crazy. Next up is a company that my buddy Jared at Die Hard Anglers introduced me to. So I'm happy to get some stuff to play with from them. Thank you very much, J Bros. Check this stuff out. They are a very unique company. You need to go check them out. Number one, and, and I'm telling you, they're worms. These two worms right here may be two of my favorite baits that they put out there, especially this Haymaker. The Haymaker is so unique, and, and I'm telling you, on a shaky head, the tail, it's incredible. Then we come up to the glider, which is kind of a long, flat worm, and it's got a very unique tail to it, too. I'm telling you, it'll look great on a drop shot. This is the glider, five and a half inch. This is in June bug. As always, if you're going to throw a drop shot or you're going to have a drop shot worm, man, you got to have some morning dawn. There's the three inch glider. I wish I'd have realized I had those today. I might've been able to catch some of these smallmouth I've been targeting out here. This is a two inch white grub. This right here is gonna be a great little crappy jig. 
but again, very unique designs, and that's why this company really interests me. So check this out. This is Jester Joker. This is kind of a Ned. Uh, you can use it on jig trailers. You can use it as a creature bait. But check that thing out. Very unusual little bait. This is their grub. This is their three inch grub in Alabama crawl. And I'm telling you, it's, it ain't even a twin tail. It's like a quadruple tail. That is a cool little grub. And then we've got another sort of Ned bait. This is called the Double Trouble in Green Pumpkin Purple. Check that Double Trouble out. Look, I'll tell you the same thing that the owner of the company said to me. I mean, everybody's got to have a stick worm, but this is one girthy worm. Five inch fatty. And when I say fatty, I mean it's built like me. It's shaped like a football. That is one heck of a girthy stick worm. This is a really a unique bait here. And this is what I mean by they really have some very unique styles and design. This is called a Patriot 4-inch. It's, it's kind of flat. It, it's almost kind of concave, almost like a half, like somebody has taken a tube and cut it in half and put a point on it and then gave it some really crazy tentacles on the back. But you apparently you can run it as a top water. You can use it as a drop shot, um, a bunch of different things. I can't wait to test that out. That is in watermelon copper, great color. Now they've also got a great tube. And I mean, this is a fat, fat tube. This is black and blue flake. This is their tube. This is called the Sentinel tube, four inch. Got some grips down here. So if you drag that across the bottom, it's really going to take and grab hold of the bottom, the rock, the sand, kind of stand up. And the tentacles are extremely unique. Last but not least from J Bros, we've got the Trinity six inch kind of a um, ribbon tail worm. But it's, uh, like I said, words don't I, I just can't do it justice that is such a versatile you can do so many things with this worm and that tail it's pretty incredible thank you j bros for sending this guys as always all the links to this will be in the description below guys if you go pick up some stuff make sure you let them know that you've seen them on bass geek so Fat Pack reached out to me and they sent me some really cool worms, man. Okay, that's pretty neat right there. This is actually the first time I'm getting to see them. But this is their Beastie Bug Junior. If this is their Junior, I'd hate to see the Beastie Bug. This is a fat little, I mean, I get why they're calling them fat, man. But in the FAT way, not the PHT. That is a girthy little crawl right there. It'd make a great trailer for like a bitsy bug or a finesse jig um, or to get just get fished on its own. Even on a Ned rig, this would be great. Great little, great little bug right there. The color, natural brown crawl, 2.8 inches. The bottom licker <laughs> from Fat Pack. Check that out. Great looking crawl right there. Again, I'm telling you, we do a little thing where we Carolina rig crawls like this, but this is uh, Pick Your Poison. It's a four inch. It's got a lot of tentacles on it. Again, fat pack baits, guys. Check them out. And last but not least from them, this is a killer, especially if they're up there feeding on shad. This is a, would be killer on a drop shot. This is just called Little Bat. It would be great on a Ned rig, and it's a nice little fat worm. Silver Shad. Great looking color. All right, guys, you know I love this company. They sent me this stuff a little while back, and I haven't got to show you guys uh, a lot of this yet. But uh, they make not just my favorite swim baits, okay? They make a ton of different baits, and it seems like he's always adding to the catalog, whether it be colors or whether it be bait styles. So check this out. This is the F-Worm, and it comes in a lot of different sizes, but he put this in Magic Motor Oil for me. 
like I said, a bunch of different sizes, a good straight tail worm, motor oil worm too. Check that out. I don't know if you guys, if that picks up on camera, but that is kind of that traditional motor oil. Ramsey baits, by the way, guys, make sure you go check them out. Again, makes my favorite swim bait in the world. Now this is the same thing. This is the F worm, but he sent me some in strawberry silver flake. Check that out. I'm going to tell you what. This little worm, when these bass here on South Holston are on the bed this year, I think this little worm going to do some work. Now, he sent me, he's also sent me some of the F worm in Morning Dawn. Got to have those Morning Dawns. And here's a off pack. I don't know <laughs> kind of where this come from. But I love this. It's got two tails on the back. It's called the Kicker, the Kick Tail in Morning Dawn. I like that a lot. I like that on a shaky head or Texas rig. That'd be great. I'd pick up some more of those from him in some more natural colors. Here's sort of another one-off he sent me. This is a paddle tail, and it literally, it's like a beaver tail in the five-inch Morning Dawn. Another killer little color or killer little bait style. Then he sent me a bunch in ring tails, guys. Look at this, six, a six inch ringworm. I mean, check that out, ringworm, strawberry silver. This is a 3.5. There's a six inch in morning dawn, strawberry silver. He also sent me some of those in the motor oil. Oh, here's another one off. It's like a like a curl tail. Yeah, so this is a 7.5 inch curl tail in Morning Dawn, just called a curl tail. And then I really like this. This is a curl tail ringworm. Now that is really versatile. He sent me a pack in about all the all the colors that he sent me there. The motor oil, the morning dawn, the strawberry silver. Guys. I always say he makes my favorite swim baits. Well, he also makes some of my favorite swim baits to throw on a uh, Alabama rig. Check this out. This is the Slick Shad 3-inch Blue Sartreuse. Sent me a couple packs of those. And those things are really great. You know, I always talk about the differences in tails. Those things are going to be great in a little warmer water and around those largemouth bass is what I really like those for. But now what's great is he also makes them in some great smallmouth colors. So in the spring, you can get down to business with some smallmouth. Speaking of which, purple sartreuse right there. So a great little color for those smallmouth on, that, on those dirtier water days or some high wind days. Another great color, the purple shad. Then we get into some really great natural colors. Here's green shad. I love his new packaging, by the way. It looks great. Really put some work into that. We got some supernatural right here. Smoke shad, another great color. That's a great all-around color for clear water. And then this color, ghost shad, great color for when it's really clear, maybe a little overcast and not a lot of wind like it is today. But guys, make sure you go check out all these companies. Make sure you go support those little guys, those local guys. You know, there's a lot of good, unique baits out there from these small bait makers. That is all for this unboxing. We'll be doing a few of these unboxings as we go through the winter, as always. You know, we, we're always buying. I tend to save up a lot of money and buy when there's some sales going on. And, uh, you know, fishing gets tough this time of year. You know, we I was out kind of learning a new technique today, and uh, it didn't pan out the way I thought it was going to. So, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't catch anything. And sometimes that happens. But when we do that, we'll just pull in a cove and do some cool unboxings like we did today. But this fat boy is freezing. I got some insulation. I got to get the heck out of here. So as always, guys, links will be in the description. Now, I don't make any money off any of these companies right here. But uh, go out there and show them some support. Show them some love. 
And as always, questions and comments in the comment section below. If I ran through something too fast or I missed something, be sure you ask me. I always answer my uh, questions and my answer or reply to my comments. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. 100% Watch Squad. You guys rock. But all of you geeks out there, as always, you guys rock.